Well, good very morning to you. How the devil are you? Tis I, Mr. Jack Porter. Welcome to the Motor Mogul channel. I've been away for a bit. Been going through some problems, as some of you already know. Caused me some proper stress. So, uh, yeah, I'm back anyway. So, here I am. So, I thought I'd just come back on, give you a bit of an intro for the video that uh, follows this introduction, uh, and just let you know that I am back with you. Uh, videos might be a little bit sporadic in the first couple of months or so, but anyway, I, I'm back anyway, and uh, I have missed you. I have missed you. Boy, has it been a struggle. It has been such a labour. Anyway, enough of this shizzle. Let's get on with things. Let's fire up the intro and watch this video. Um, so this is uh, a video of the Lincolnshire TT, one that I made uh, a few weeks ago now. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. Some fantastic roads. Uh, well, this is one of the reasons I uh, made this video to, to show you, because I keep banging on about how good Lincolnshire is. Uh, one of the reasons I made the video was so that you could see just how good the roads in Lincolnshire actually are. So sit back, get yourself a brew, no, get yourself a brew and then sit back, uh, put your feet up and uh, watch the next 20 minutes of me having fun on the roads in Lincolnshire. Right, so let's get into it. Let's roll the intro and enjoy the video. See you later, guys. So, this is Bardney. So what I need to do is load the route. Right, so it's uh, 63 miles um, and we are gonna, well, it says it's gonna take an hour and 31 minutes, which is not that long at all. So I did, uh, I did a lesson two in my Spanish. I'm trying to learn a bit of Spanish. I'm trying to better myself, people. I'm enjoying it actually, it's good fun. It is good fun. Let's go! It's not far off another route that I already do. called the Lincolnshire Benz and you'll find it in Bikers Britain. It's in the Bikers Britain book, which is another great route actually. I, I've already done that one and it is, it is in my um, library of videos so if you have a look down you will find that one. takes us up to Rugby and then on to Market Raisin. So what I'll do is I'll mark on the map where we are at different points but as you can see this is a fantastic stretch of road. And these Song. Oh god, 
bike it honestly it keeps nearly stalling i don't know i don't know what the hell's wrong with it to do that i know you're going to say oh it's e10 it's not it's not always e10 i've put e10 in it today because i went to asda's to fill up but um the last twice that it's done it that's been on tank tanks full of uh, e5 so it's not that i want to get it in before i go and do um before I go away for a couple of days uh, and my plan is to go up to North Yorkshire for a couple of days with Martin it's not David it's Martin hi Martin <laughs> oh, but here, I know. well a couple of nights so it'll be about three days uh, and then uh, I was going to head straight up to Northumberland and do the Northumberland 250 for about three days again was market raisin another one of those nice little market town places where not every shop is the typical generic high street shop again nice little place I don't know if I've been up this road. I think I'm pretty certain I have. I've not done this uh, Lincolnshire TT route complete as it's laid out. I've probably done these roads at some point in time. So we're now heading uh, up towards, um, well, just to the west of Caister. Not sure how well I put this route in. To be <laughs> I'll double check it later. I'll tell you if I've gone wrong. <laughs> Holton the Moor Brig. Definitely not been up this road before. I know there's lots of places in Britain that are uh, very similar, but I just think Lincolnshire's a lovely county. What do you think to these electric push bikes? I've, I've been caught out once or twice where you think, oh, I've got plenty of room to uh, get in front of this bike, you know, when you're turning left. I hate, I hate chopping people off like that, especially cyclists. Now, I've done it a couple of times. Um, once was to uh, a racing cyclist who was going faster than I anticipated um, and I got in front of him and then chopped him off which is entirely my fault and it's really bad manners 
a stupid thing to do, I know. But uh, electric bikes, electric push bikes, when you've got someone sort of on a sit up and beg bike, sitting bolt upright, and you just think, oh, they're doing it's just some, I don't know, someone on the way to the shops or something. And then you realise they're doing like a much higher speed than you anticipated and it sort of catches you out and I've done I've done it to one of them before as well so if you're a cyclist and I've chopped you up inadvertently I do apologize it's not it's not something that I set out to do but some of those uh, electric bikes they go a hell of a bloody lick don't they they go proper quick stop in a bit have a bit of brekkie because this is uh, like the most northern point now so what we're doing we're sort of tracking over towards uh, Caister now these are the sort of places where the fuzz will hang about I find them easier going uphill than going downhill. Wow, look at that for a view. Look at that, oh, there's the golf ball thing up there. Up there, look, you see it? Probably can't actually on the GoPro and through the trees. So that's Lincolnshire's highest point actually. There it is over there, look. Might just be able to see it there. Thanks very much for everybody, uh, to everybody who's jumped on board after the um, Oliver's Mount video. Thanks very much for joining the crew. I hope not to disappoint you with uh, the drivel that I put out. It did better than I anticipated that video, actually. I wish I'd put more effort into it now. I'll tell you what I watched the other night. A video of uh, Americans on bikes having accidents. What is it with Americans? They can't go around corners. They seem to really struggle going around a bend. They just keep going. <laughs> There was all these Americans having crashes and, and all they were doing was supposed to be going round the bend. <laughs> they were just going straight on. They couldn't manage it. E even, you know, slight bends like this bend in the road here, they'd end up in the bloody bushes. It's like, what, what the hell are you doing? Caster. So I know there's somewhere to park in Caster. you this view because this is immense look at that now you're not going to pick up a lot of that on the GoPro quite a view not sure how many miles that is it must be 20 miles off into the distance right time for a break huh <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. One of the lads uh, where I've just been to here, but yeah. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know how I'd get on with it to start with, but uh, once you uh, once you get used to it, it, I just the thought of going back to a bike with gears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a proper lazy ride, but it's really enjoyable, you know. My nephew, he's got one of the, one of the classic. Uh, one of the? The classic. The classic Africa Twin? Yeah. That's worth a few quid now. Yeah. You've got plenty of GoPros on. Yes. Yeah, I've got a YouTube channel. So All right. I'm, I'm doing, uh, do you know the, the Lincolnshire TT route? No. So it comes up from Bardney. Yeah. So I thought I'd do this route and, and post this so that people can see how good they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we are. There you are. Yeah, 
I was up that way um, last week. Right. I went up to Oliver's Mount at Scarborough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cracking. It was a really nice racetrack up there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. What's your name? Andrew. 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 I'm, I'm Jack. 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 Yeah. 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 Right, you take care. Cheers, Andrew. Thanks, Thanks mate. Lot. See ya. Right, folks, let's get back underway. I needed that break. So it's quarter past 11 now. B1225. Yeah, someone was commenting uh, on the post that Kevin Valley put up on um, we're up here uh, and saying that uh, this stretch down there he just does it in like double quick time and you can totally see why it's it's a brilliant bit of road. This bit here is a little bit confused when I was putting it into the um, when I was loading it into Scenic last night, I didn't. I, I got a little bit confused because it was difficult to see because I was uh, I was zooming into a photo and it was making it quite difficult to read. So this is the B1190. This is to Horton Castle, but I don't think we we'll go to Horton Castle. Oh, it's Horton Castle Road. Sorry. Apologies. I've really enjoyed this this Rutland TT. I nearly said it's not the Rutland TT, boy. I think it's better than the Rutland TT. Definitely, it's definitely more of a rider's route. This definitely more of a rider's route. The 
Sun TT is nice, it's a nice ride, this is more fun. Get these bent drunk with that coming up the other way. <laughs> oh, I know where I am now. So Stephen with a Triumph, that is where I photographed it. That bit there. So that's Stephen who commented on my video the other night who bought the Rally Pro that I uh, took out on test from Bebs in Lincoln. So you might want to know. Very strong from the right now. So this lane back into Barney, I don't do this one very often, and I really should. It really is a great road. Great fun off-road, great fun on-road. leg that last leg was absolutely brilliant really 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 enjoyed that <laughs> 